Hello everybody, this is Mike Sokol from RV Electricity. Just doing a couple of quickie little video experiments here and I'd like you to see how I got my new lab all set up behind me. Um, I'm also getting ready to do an, a series of experiments starting in the next couple of weeks and demonstrations, which we'll write about just shortly. Um, and I figured out how to merge a bunch of different programs together. So I wanted you to see um, how I can take some of the information I did from Hurdle, put it together with a few other programs and then play it right smack in the middle of Ecamm. Um, and I'm just showing you a little bit about the soft start RV, but this is from my, my high rate data logger hurdle, and I'm going to be using this for some of my other tests coming up in the next couple weeks, including surge guard ground testing, uh, Hughes uh, auto former testing. Um, with this little gadget, I can test all kinds of stuff. Let me let you show, let me show you the kinds of things that I can, can uh, let you see though. Here's what's happening in real time. The left bar graph here is going to show the current that you get when you turn on a stock air conditioner with its uh, regular factory starting capacitor. And the right bar graph shows that same startup cycle, but using a soft start modification. So let me let you see that in real time. Wow, kind of fast, huh? Did you all get that? Here we go, fast again. Nope, okay. Uh, I figured out how to slow it way down. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna run it at about one-tenth speed. And you can see right now, this is the current from our fan and here, it just jumped up and then moved down and across. Let me let you see that once again. Uh, and this is the peak current from a regular capacitor. And here it jumps up, goes down, and then steadies in to around 13, 14 amps as it's running. Uh, if you go look at the soft start modification on the right graph here, what it allows you to do is you can see, here's my fan running and it starts up slower, only goes up to about 24 amps, moves across, and then shuts back down, and then they're both about equal as it comes out. So there's dozens of different things that I can show with this type of setup now, which I'm very, very excited because it allows me to show you things that I have inside of my head, but actually see it uh, on a graph that's repeatable. Um, I am going to be doing a full review of Soft Start RV technology later this weekend. Um, and Chuck and I are going to be talking about some of this stuff on my Saturday um, Zoom program that he's going to be promoting to uh, members here shortly. But um, I'm very excited now. I'm getting more gadgets built in my laboratory. Uh, yes, it does look a little bit like Dr. Frankenstein, but that's okay. That, I guess that's who I am. Okay, guys, so yeah, I'm back. Uh, so in interesting stuff, huh? Um, so now that I have a little more time to uh, experiment with this, uh, the gloves are off, as we say, uh, and I've got dozens of experiments and demonstrations I can do over the next year. I'm picking some of the most important ones right now that we've discussed. Many of these are over on my Facebook group, so if you can, join over there. All of these things will have videos will be over on my YouTube channel. RV Electricity channel, so if you have an op opportunity, join over there and uh, leave some questions if you have here at the, in comments at this section for things that you'd like to see me uh, develop tests for over the next year. No, I can't do these things every week. Some of these things take quite a while, and I'm still you know, working on getting a budget for this, but um, since I've got my 501c3 corp up and running, um, it is pretty exciting because I may have some reasonable um, budgets to actually go do some of these experiments that, that nobody else is doing and that you guys really desperately need. Okay, well, this is Mike Sokol from my lab here in lovely Funkstown, Maryland, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.